guys, have you ever heard of the need of a flamethrower for your flamethrower for your Lego minifigure? Well then, guys, look no further as this is the perfect video for you. So we just have the standard Lego minifigure, and well, he's gonna need a flamethrower. I don't know why, but I guess he needs it. So before we start, I have to tell you something. On our channel, we don't just do Lego building videos. We do connects building videos, Beyblade videos. We also have another channel called Positive Gaming. So let's start. Okay, so for this, we're going to get this guy out of the way. We don't need him right now. Shouldn't have done that to be honest. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna actually start off with the. Wait one moment. Let me just quickly get him. Okay, he's fine. Okay. Now let's start with the actual flamethrower. So first, we get one of these. Nope, it's not um gonna be used for a lightsaber, but you're going to attach this clip to it. Is that it? No, of course not. It's not a flamethrower. That's something we found in trash. So then we're gonna get one of these. I don't know what they're called. They look cool though. Um, and then you're gonna place this on and one of these T-shaped pieces. And then, oh, this is gonna bit of a pain. Okay, I got it. Okay, so you're gonna get one of these pieces and then one of these ones with a hole through them. Then I'm going to turn this upside down. Put that on there, like so, and then attach this to the, like so. And that's like the main flamethrower. I know it looks a bit dumb right now, but when I build the rest of it, it's gonna look good. Okay, so now we can hand the jetpack to our minifigure so let's quickly give it to him I'm gonna move his hand up like that then I'm gonna twist this it's a bit hard making sure you guys can see while me trying to see myself yeah this is a bit hard right now let me just do it quickly this is not going good it's an absolute failure okay let me just quickly do it right now for myself quickly so i can get this right for you guys well that makes sense because the hands the wrong way around. okay this doesn't okay there we go we got it. so like that this hand's meant to be upside down I need, I'll just hold him like that. Let's get this. Okay, now he's not gonna fall. Um, so now we're going to go to the backpack. So what we're gonna need for the backpack is very easy. So first, you are going to need a one by two plate. One of these chain pieces, you're going to put on there and then you are going to get one of these yes one of those then put one of these on there as well like that and then get two of these and two of these put them on put one there and then you can get this tile piece to represent like the fire it has, I don't know. Um, and then you're going to get one of these plates like that. Put it on like that. And then you're going to get this piece. And then like I said, you needed two of those, so you're going to get it like that. And then you're going to put it on like so. And this is the finished backpack as well. And well, you can clip it on with like a neck bracket, but I'll just use like a some sticky tack or blue tack if you have any. Or you can just use the bracket like I told, like I just said. Um, and we're going to put this on, stick it like that. Stick the backpack on like that, and then 
going to attach this chain to the back of the weapon. Then you can put on your flame. Like that. Oh, surprising. He actually stands without me touching it. That's nice. So now your minifigure now has a flamethrower to use against enemies. Don't know how this nice little man has any enemies, but hey, you can't judge a book by its cover. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye guys.